The building has amazing new open spaces at all levels. Multiple lounges. It was really important for us in computer science to be able to have the kinds of nooks, the kinds of spaces for accidental interactions, so that people could just find the right space for the way that they like to work. We wanted to bring the outside into the building. You see lots of verandas kind of hanging out from the south side of the building that you can go out onto. Trees and other plants living inside the building, natural light. So we, we really did well to want to think about the connection between the building and the outside world. It's a new building, but it's important that the students, undergrad, masters, feel that the building is there to be comfortable in, to be able to create, to be able to innovate in. So you want the building to be supporting and enabling, not constraining of activities. On the research side, those faculty who need it have, of course, been looking for the right types of core research facilities that would be shared between them to help them to advance their research agendas. We've grouped the undergraduate student lounge, the student club meeting areas, the garages for the robotics and, and car teams, uh, together with the maker space that's just up uh, one flight of stairs. You can imagine students zipping around building pieces for their cars, for their Engineers Without Borders projects, talking to advisors who have offices in that same space. And it's grouped around the, the big open atrium, a lot of area for students to collaborate on problem sets and, and projects. We can bring people not only into traditional classroom spaces, but we've designed these wonderful, flexible teaching classrooms where they will let people work in teams, we need flat places where we can engage in the new kinds of teaching that are becoming popular. Flipped classroom, project-based learning, and so on. And that'll make a big difference for the kind of innovative teaching we'll be able to do there. The robotics labs should be quite interesting. There are lots of curved walls, lots of little islands encased in glass that'll hold various specialty labs. The building is going to be big, but we want to foster a sense of community in the building very fluid, very accessible. I want people to be able to work dynamically in different size groups, in different sizes of groups. I want lots of space for making, for doing, for thinking. I want the community to be diverse in all dimensions that matter to us. And I want everybody to feel happy, productive to be there.